Hey guys, so it's here bringing you another video. Now welcome back to Unranked to Diamond, the series I take a Smurf account, Fresh account, never played ranked before, and show you the adventure to Diamond. And uh, now return to the series Platinum 2 22 LP, so we finally broke the 5 loss streak. Last game while playing Anivia, and now we're actually on the way up, hopefully, after this game. Uh, we want to see the victory screen. So all I'll say is today I actually queued up as jungle and then mid. Uh, because I really want to do a Graves jungle game. He's a champion that I play a, a little bit on my main account and a, a little bit more on, on another account that I play. Um, but I got mid lane. So it's kind of rare for this to happen. You know, mid lane is kind of the most contested role. So whenever you queue up as something else, you kind of expect to get it. But uh, we've got this one, apparently. Uh, final ban, going to just ban Aurelia. Still think she's probably the highest ban uh, for top lane, uh, well, we're kind of alongside Gangplank, I guess. If Gangplank is banned, then you need to ban Aurelia. If you leave both of them open, then each team basically gets one. That can work as well. Um, but anyway, our first pick is our jungler. Most likely going to go the Gragus. Gragus, very strong jungler right now. I'd probably put him in the top five. Um, lots of people are going more damage-orientated Gangplank than normal. Uh, you know, before people just went pure tank, but now they're going more damagey. That's fine. He's kind of filling the same gap as Elise, I guess. Uh, Nidley is becoming more popular because of AP picks. Um, but yeah, Gragas not bad at all. The thing with Gragas that I think he has over Elise or Nidley, he has extreme amounts of damage uh, just normally, but then he also transitions into a better tank than them late game. He has a lot more disruption. He has a lot more tankiness uh, in general. Um, but anyway, we've got Alawi as our second pick. She obviously doesn't know who she's against, so she's blind picking that, but it should be fine. She can play against anything without much difficulty. Uh, I'd actually say a big difficult thing for now is actually Gangplank, if it's a really good Gangplank. Or Malzahar, and both of those champions are banned, so that's kind of good for Alawi. Severe so most likely going to be picked for my team. It's a good team-playing, team-orientated AD carry that if you want to go up in rating as an AD carry... Okay, you either have two playstyles as an AD carry. You have the solo carry. So you're talking the Jinxes, the Veins, the Dravens, the Twitches, the solo carry. Or you have the team carry. That's like a severe. Uh, that might be... Or a Varus, I guess. A Varus is kind of like a team one too. Um, she's gone for the Jinx. That's fine. The only thing I would say is she's picking a Jinx into a Leona. Obviously, Leona is good or very good versus immobile AD carries like Jinx. Um, so that's just worth mentioning. <coughs> As for what I'm going to play in mid lane, uh, probably Lux. I don't think I've done Lux in quite some time. So probably going to do that. Um, this person's just said, come join us on TeamSpeak. So I'm probably going to have to blur that for the video because I don't think they'd probably want 30,000 people to kind of look at their TeamSpeak server. Um, so yeah, if you're seeing a blurred thing in the bottom left right now, now you know why. Um, but yeah, probably going to go Lux. Lux is a champion that I thoroughly enjoy. That I've played Lux for seasons, like literal seasons I've played that champion. And I always do quite well on it. So that's what we're going to do. Do I have a skin? I don't have a skin. Oh, man. I don't know if I've played it in the series yet. Uh, but we're going to go Thunderlords. We're going to go Ability Damage, Double Edge. We're going to go for kills because it's an Ari. If I kind of uh, bind the Ari, get her in place, I can blow her up in one combo. Uh, so we're going to go for both the Assassin and Double Edged. Natural talent and all that good stuff. So some yeah, some of my team are uh, they're going on team speak together when they're not pre-made, obviously. I've also do I want to go teleport? Yeah, I'm gonna go teleport. Uh the reason for not going ignite is that Lux, yes, her passive is an auto-attack passive, but in the late game you shouldn't be in auto-attack range. Anyway, let's go into the loading screen where we break down today's game. Okay, welcome to the loading screen. This is where I use the website lolskill.net to break down today's game. And as you can see, my team actually has a 50.6% chance to win. Uh, but let's break it down. I am currently a Platinum 2 Lux. Played the champion once in this series, it looks like, but I lost. Platinum 1 Janna, Platinum 4 Jinx, Platinum 2 Alawi, and a Platinum 2 Gragas. On the enemy team, a Diamond 5 Wukong, Platinum 2 Leona, Platinum 3 Ezreal, Platinum 2 Zac, and a Platinum 2 Ari. Who has uh, taken the Ignite, which is fair enough. She is an Ari. Anything worth noting? Uh, my Jinx hasn't got the best win rate or KD. Uh, that's kind of a noticed thing. And as I mentioned in the Champion Select, she did pick Jinx into a counter. Uh, Leona's very good versus Jinx. So hopefully the Janna will be able to counter that. 
because a Janna is a counter to Leona. Uh, if a Leona goes for an E, the Janna can Q, do the tornado, and that counters uh, Leona a little bit there as well. Uh, a couple things more to mention. The Zac has taken Thunderlords and so has my Gragas. So there could be surprising amounts of damage from both junglers that you'll just randomly get hit by a Thunderlords. Uh, but anyway, without much further ado, let's get into the game where we are playing Lux. Okay, welcome to the game. So today we're playing Lux, a champion that I've played for many years. And I think even in Season 6 on my main account, I think I've only played like 10 games of Lux or something. But if I were to continue playing her, I'd say she's probably going to be one of my best performing champions. And who knows, if I play well on this game, it may spur me to play it again on my main account a lot more. Uh, but yeah, I, I really enjoy this champion for many reasons. One, she's a skillful champion to play in the fact that you actually have to hit abilities to make it work. Uh, but you've also got to play pretty careful. You are squishy, so if you get caught, you are going to get punished for it. So it, it, there's a co constant battle of, I need to get people, I need to bind people, but then I can get caught if I go too close, which is a really nice kind of skill matchup. Uh, as for the matchup in mid lane itself, Lux versus Ari, um, in a 1v1, in the early game, Ari has the advantage, especially that she has Ignite. Ignite is a very obviously powerful spell in the early game. That's why early game champions or assassins tend to take Ignite because they want to get kills. Um, but if I survive early, get to like level six, have an okay amount of last hitting, have a decent amount of gold in the bank, then I the lane probably goes in my favor the, the later this game goes. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will show. I quite like our team comp, as I mentioned, and I've mentioned it already two times, so I won't really mention it anymore unless something big happens, is the only lane I'm really worried about is bot lane, as it's a Leona versus a Jinx. That's pretty much it. Um, but anyway, Project Minions are obviously here. I've got the Project hat on. Um, but yeah, right. Gonna try and last hit as well as we can. It is the first game of the day. Usually I would advise people to do a warm-up game, warm-up ARAM or something just to get your mechanics on point. But for some reason, I don't do that. Uh, I sh probably should. Uh, top lane, I think it goes heavily in Alawi's favor if she doesn't die really early on. Uh, Wukong has even taken the uh, Bloodlust, so he's going for more lifesteal than anything else. But Alawi's got the Corrupting Potion, so if she burns his one health potion, obviously she will have lane advantage no you miss one CS and it kind of mucks you up for like the next few it's like a snowballing effect oh yeah people um have been asking in the comments recently you know whenever I say a term like snowballing there's a lot of people that don't know what that term means um so the best way to describe snowballing is if you understand a snowball going down a mountain or a hill it starts really small and the more it goes down the hill the bigger and bigger the snowball gets it collects more snow that's basically what snowballing is in league you get one kill in you know your lane and the more and more kills you get the bigger you're gonna get the stronger you're gonna get and that's kind of how snowballing works it's also harder to slow down the bigger that you are um, so yeah, that's pretty much what snowballing is. Hopefully I explained that okay. I realise explaining things and doing commentary at the same time usually isn't the best idea because you're really distracted, but I think that made sense. Uh, playing it back in my head right now. <coughs> yeah, I think it made sense. Um, anyway, Ari's got pushing power on me. Ooh. That was bad from me. That was a really bad trade, but they'll happen occasionally. Especially when I don't have W yet. There you go. Take W now. Because again, she has early strength compared to me. So I kind of want to just focus on surviving in the early game, like I mentioned. And then eventually I can go for kills later on. Especially if I have a little bit of jungle pressure. Uh, that would be really good. Uh, bot lane is pushed up. They do have a bit of river vision. So they shouldn't get overly caught out if a gank would come. Actually, they could because it's Zack. I forgot about that. Zack is a brilliant jungler right now. As I said, I'd say Gragas is in the top five. I'd probably put Zack in the top five too. Like, he's underrated completely. He's actually one of my pocket pick junglers. I think I forgot to put him in black in the champion select. Um, but he's a, one of my pocket pick junglers, has been for season. It's because he's underrated all the time. Your jungle ganks and that. He can gank from places no other jungler can. And it's like crazy like that. Like, it's really, really, really strong. Um, yeah, let's get a bit of damage. 
Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's really good. Getting her flash like that in the early game, as I mentioned, she has strength in the early game. Oh, well, she just killed herself. Yeah, I don't know what she's doing. As soon as a jungler ganks, you have to expect that a jungler to come back. Especially if you've burnt flash. Um, there's a back ganking bot lane, I think. Yeah, Zach's down there. Hopefully they can survive. There's an exhaust from Janna. I'm going to go back. Ah, they did go down. Yeah, just back off, just back off, just back off. Uh, as a build, probably just going to rush the Morello. I think it's the strongest thing to do. Uh, okay, we're teleporting. That sucks that he died. Yeah, that was kind of a waste teleport. I wasn't expecting him to die to the Leona, so I guess we'll just run back to mid lane. That's lame. Um, right. I, and also, I didn't wait for the refillable, so I've got no sustain. Uh, same items, as, apart from I've got boots and she's got potions. Ah, damn it. Sometimes as an AD carry, it's, I think especially AD carries are a little bit uh, prone to it, is over-greeding for kills. Obviously, because you're an AD carry, you're like, I need kills! Sometimes it's better if you just wait a little bit, especially if you have, like, a, a jungler that's coming to help you. Because, you know, that um, Jinx just died when she didn't need to die. The only reason she died there was like, oh, my team's coming, I'm gonna try and get to the front line to try and get some of these kills, and she got punished for it. So, sometimes you just don't need to do that. Um, sometimes it's fine just kind of waiting. Um, I don't really know how much damage I do. She's going to ward there. I don't think I do enough burst yet to kind of one bang the RE for even, for even from half health. I don't think I do enough. Looked for it though. If I can get a low, it's still worth it. Because you remember Luxult, even on rank one, is an 80 second cooldown. That's kind of low. She could go from that gap there because blue buff, the enemy blue buff is up. So I'm looking for her to go down that funnel. Obviously, I don't want to get kind of baited by a Zac. Um, and her positioning, her positioning is either playing safe, being the opposite side from me, or it's hurting me. Sometimes it's it's hard to read if you know when some people are playing safe or are they. Uh, Would have liked to try and get her ultimate there. Like, okay, I do more damage than I thought I did. Uh, so I can definitely get the kill. Bot lane is getting engaged on. Hopefully they'll be okay. What are you doing, Gragas? That was kind of weird. I shouldn't have flashed. Damn, they got I got wrecked completely. Hopefully Gragas doesn't go down. Just get just get away. No no no, just get away. Don't do anything fancy. If you do anything fancy, you might go down. Like, you're going to be... Okay, whew. Damn, they did a lot of damage. He obviously does have Ignite, like I mentioned. Um, oh, she's so low. That sucks. Gragas, don't go greedy for it, because you'll probably get punished. Damn it. Um, oh, well, it happens. Um, ooh, see, Jinx is getting a bit caught out. But they are level 6. They do have level advantage. So what, right now, they should be kiting back, kiting back, kiting back. Janna should be focusing on protecting the Jinx, which she has not done this whole fight. Then she exhausts, but they're going to get the kill. Jinx, just run. Just run, just run. Okay, stay in the healing. So they do end up getting the double kill. Honestly, that was really messy. Jinx, uh, the Janna offered the Jinx no protection at all in that early fight, which made it very close to her going down. But it ended up okay because they managed to kill the Ezra. The Ezra went a little bit close to the sun and actually got killed for it. If he didn't go that close, they the the enemy team probably would have got the kills there. But yeah. Alright, we're just going to do that. There's some people be like, why are you ulting? Uh, just to put pressure on the tower to keep Ari in mid lane. I don't want her randomly being top lane or anything like that. Um, so that's the idea. Why Mew? I guess they're talking about TeamSpeak. If you missed the Champions Select, like, they invited all of us onto their TeamSpeak. I'll never join random people's TeamSpeak. Like, a lot of people have always asked me, what do I think of having pushed um, voice comms in League? I will never, ever use that. Like, the League community is one of the most toxic gaming communities out there. 
I don't know why anybody would want to subject themselves to voice comms. Um, you know, with other people. That just sounds awful to me. Okay, me and Ari are very level pegging in terms of items, even though, yeah, she's got one kill on me because I died to the Zack gank. I am a little bit ahead in last hitting. I've also got teleport up in 25 seconds, but in terms of a 1v1, if I manage to kind of catch her like a fish, uh, I will do a lot of damage to this Ari. Ooh. Nice. Okay, getting that is brilliant. Yes, I'd love the kill. As always, you'd love the kill. But getting the kill is the better option. Getting the kill is great. It gets them out of lane. And this is why a lot of people always like to compare high and low rating. Uh, no. Um, it's why you don't pe see people really saying kill steal and high rating. You see it in low rating because people don't really care about winning in low rating. Is kind of what I feel. People care more about KDA than anything else. Um, okay, my bot lane seems to be doing quite well at the moment. We're actually going to teleport down. No, she should have stuck on him and slowed. Oh, that's lame. Oh, well. If they stuck on him, if, like, if the Janna stuck on him and W'd her, then maybe we could have got the kill. But So both of my teleports so far have not been very good teleports. I openly admit that. Sometimes you'll get good ones, sometimes you won't do anything with them. Um, she died two times and goes AFK. What is the Ezreal AFK? That'll be really lame. Oh, okay, Janna flashed when she probably didn't need to because the speed up came. So yeah, my bot lane is now wrecking. That's cool. Um, I'd, I'd like to think my teleports have helped, but they haven't at all. Uh, but well, the thought is what counts. Uh, but like I mentioned, the difference between high and low rating, you know, this series on Ranked to Diamond, a lot of it is pointing out mistakes, but it's also showing you the differences between the ratings. If you've watched this series from right at the beginning, you'll probably have, you would have seen some differences yourself. Oh man, I would have got that kill. Um, you would have seen differences from when the series started in gameplay to when where we are now. But one of the very big differences is the attitude of kills, deaths and all that stuff. Oh, it's Ari AFK. Ooh, why is she AFK? Huh, I don't know. Um, but yeah, don't care about who gets the kill in the end of the day. Yes, if it's a free kill, it's a free kill. But getting the kill is amazing. Like, kills, it, they're rare, honestly, a lot of the time, in higher rating anyway. It's great getting kills, so it doesn't really matter who gets them. The good point is that you got the kill. Somebody got the kill on your team. That's great. That's awesome. So yeah, uh, apparently Ari's AFK. Again, for me, AFKing is like the, the worst thing in League. Yes, toxic behavior sucks, but that's what mute is for. Um, but I hate AFKing because AFKing ruins the game. Like they're just flat out. Toxic behavior, it makes the game worse, but it doesn't ruin it because you can still play. AFKing just takes the game away from you, basically. It sucks. And, uh, I don't know, I don't get people that do it. And yes, emergencies happen, but if you're AFKing because you are die two times, then you don't belong playing. Also, another thing um, is a petty hate of mine, is I'd rather people don't AFK. I still even hate the open mid philosophy. But when people go, I'm AFK in all chat, open mid, and then that person is in mid lane at like a 30 seconds later, it's like, why are you typing in all chat in the first place? You know, what's the point? You know, all chat isn't a place for you guys to vent. All chat, if you are venting in all chat, you are basically telling your opponents you've, you've just won the game. Basically, that's what you're telling them. Um, but yeah, right. I'm going to go get blue buff because I may as well. So I'm going to try and get at least one kill this game. Uh, <laughs> we'll try at least. I uh, don't know if I will because my team might end while I'm getting this blue buff apparently. Um, but who knows. Being a kind of boring game... Uh, but as always, I upload every single game in this series. I'm probably not going to count Lux in uh, in this because I actually want to have a good game on Lux. And yeah, this definitely was not a great game. So yeah, don't be surprised if you see another... Damn. 
I ran in tower range just to try and get a range of that. Um, but yeah, don't be surprised if you see another Lux episode in like the next ten episodes. Because yeah, this 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 doesn't really count. Um, oh my god. I might try to go for the kill steal on this. I'm not gonna lie. Nope. They do so much damage. Oh, not me! Not me! Not me! No, for God's sake, I died. I need to get two kills now to go neutral. Ah! <laughs> well, technically, I've got a neutral KDA. I don't have a neutral KD. Because uh, an assist is, what, 0 0.5 of a kill? So, technically, I've died twice, but I've been involved in four kills, 0 0.5 times two. So, yeah, I've got a, a, a one KDA right now, but I don't have a, a one KD, which is kind of what I want. Some people will say, oh, usually you don't care about KD. I really don't, but when it's a free win, I kind of want my KD to be neutral. Um, but the problem with when your team is so fed, it's really hard to get kills because they do so much damage. So it's like, please, <laughs> let me try and get a kill. Uh, all right. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to report the RE. Like, Obviously, I don't know if she said that to her team. Don't take what teammates say, like these people say, as gospel. I don't know if Ari said I'm AFK, GG, all that stuff. I have no idea if that was that's true. But I what I do know is true is she's not here. That's what I know. Really, that missed. God, I do no damage. <laughs> like I was like, all right, I'm gonna time this one. Nope, I don't do any damage. Uh, Zach does want to kill me. Like I am obviously the easiest killable uh, person on my team right now because I don't have a lot of gold comparing to my team because I've not really been in. Well, I've been involved in five kills, but yeah, not really a lot considering how strong they are. Uh, I nearly got ultimate, or will have ultimate soon. Oh yeah, I will mention one thing if you're still here. Um, I don't know how many people are still here, but ew, that looks painful. Um, I just resubbed to World of Warcraft. If you guys are, any of you are World of Warcraft players and are in a guild on Europe, let me know, because I am going to be looking for a guild for Legion. Um, as for what kind of what I want from the guild, honestly, I'm not really looking to go hardcore again in WoW. So kind of. Oh no. No. <laughs> I knew I was dead again. As soon as he altered them into me, I was like, I'm dead. God damn it. If if he altered them away from me, then I probably could have picked them off a lot better. But yeah, he altered them into me. Uh, but I'm a bit distracted. I'm, I'm talking about other things because the game is pretty much over. Um, but yeah, if you're in a World of Warcraft guild on ser uh, European servers in an okay raiding guild, doesn't have to be hardcore, just a casual raiding guild, then let me know in the comments and I might pop on the server and have a chat with the guild master or something. Um, because yeah, I want to kind of play a little bit more. Especially with Legion coming out in a few weeks. All right, let's focus again. My focus is not here this game, but I've said numerous times, whenever an AFK happens, I stop focusing on the game completely. I could be 10-0 and 0 and my focus will go because it's just boring. Uh, these games are kind of pointless games to me because it's like, well, you're just going to win anyway. It's very, very, very rare to win in a 4v5. Practically, it doesn't happen uh, in high rating. In low rating, it can happen a little bit more because, again, mistakes happen or are more common in, high, in low rating. And again, that's not a bash. Some people are very sensitive when I say the word low rating. That's just a fact. Um, but yeah. Oh, he stole it so he can't pick it up. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. I don't Well, Can you pick it up after a certain amount of time? Like I have no idea. If that's not a thing, then that should be. If like, if you, you should be able to pick it up after like 30 seconds or something, even if the enemy took it. Because again, it's a snipe like, if, if they haven't picked it up in 30 seconds, to me it shows that they don't have control over it. So you should be able to pick it up. Is it still there? No, it's gone. Wow. 
That's crazy. I didn't even know that was a thing. All right. You learn something new every day. That's what I've learned in today's episode because I haven't really learned anything else. Um, I don't really want to be overextended, but uh, we shouldn't really be wanting to do dragon. We should just be kind of looking to end. Because, you know, you don't, uh, you don't really want to dilly-dally. So I'm dead. Again, we should be just pushing into the enemy base, not doing dragon. We're 4v5. End the game. And I know my concentration is completely gone, but whatever. I don't really care about KD, as I mentioned. I'd like a neutral KD, but... Why? That looked really weird. Boom. Pop. Pink. Uh, I'll probably teleport down here. And I, I, again, I just want to win the game. I just want to get out of this game as quick as possible. Because it's boring. Um, you don't learn anything from these. Well, I guess the one thing we did learn is about Rift Herald. I guess that's one thing. Um, let's teleport. Dee 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 dee. Did I? I got a kill! I tried to save Gragas with the W, but I wasn't quick enough. I used it as soon as I teleported in, but he was already dead. Probably should just keep going bot lane, to be honest, because we open up the base like a nutshell. Um, how strong is Alawi? Oh, she's pretty strong. Stop going for me! This guy, oh. This Zach loves me. I missed. I thought I'd get that. They're just gonna keep steamrolling in, right? Yeah. I should have probably ERW'd instead of ulted, but whatever. Now we get another inhibitor. Let's W the Alawi. Might be a kill. Oh, baby! <laughs> uh, we got another one. All right, we need two more. Alright, get that last hit. Got 2.5k gold, may as well go back. It just wait for Jinx to go up, then we go as 5 and then end the game. Again, you don't want to delay these games any more than you need to. Never ask people for FFing because that's just rude. All we, need to do, all we need to do is just go as 5 and we'll, we'll win the game. It's that simple. That's all you need to do. You don't need to ask them to do it. You can do it yourself. Um, Just go in the base and end stop. Objectives. Like, I don't get it. Like, the Gragas is hes a bit of a contradiction. He's like, oh, you guys should FF, meaning he wants to win the game as early as possible, but then he's delaying it himself by doing objectives all the time. Like, where? Why? I don't get it. Because then he needs to go back and buy, delays it even more. Like, just end the game. It's boring. I'm probably going to record another one after this. Normally, I don't really record two in a row. But I'm going to, because this has not kind of, let's say, filled my entertainment. Uh, ooh. I can line this up. Oh, that teleport. Are you kidding? Oh, baby. Oh, come on. I need one more kill. Please, be good to me. Yes! All right, we got a neutral KD. I shouldn't be that happy, but I am. And let's end the game. There we go. So, a lame game. I'm not hyping this game at all. It was lame. AFKing is not cool. And the Ari in the end of the day was one and two. She had one, uh, one kill, one death. They killed me in mid lane twice, I think, by that point. They, she, like, if Zach kept going mid, they probably could have got some strength from that RE, but she just decided to go AFK. Like, I will never get those type of people. Like, honestly, I won't. And some people in the comments will sympathize for them. I don't. I just won't. Um, because it just ruins the game. It just, it just honestly ruins the game. And it's, it's a weird thing for me, because, like, again, I'm on the enemy team. A, a, a victory is great. I love winning. 
But this feels awful. Like, I'm not happy about this. It's like, I would have liked if Ari stayed and actually we had a good game and then we won. That would be awesome. But we weren't given that opportunity, sadly. Uh, so we went 447, 10.2k gold, 145 CS, A+, plus, so nearly an S. And then damage done. We did the second most in the game, but our uh, Jinx steamrolling ahead with over 10,000 more damage. Not surprising. They did do very well in the bot lane. A couple of their fights that we did look down there were a little bit messy, but it ended up good for them, so that's great. Um, but I'm going to show it on camera. Usually I report people off camera when I report them, but we'll do it on camera. Leaving AFK, and boom, that's simple. Just don't AFK. I understand emergencies occasionally happen, but again, you can't really take what the enemy t say is truthful, but if it was truthful, apparently the RE just said, I'm AFK, good luck. I don't know. Like, if you are somebody that is somebody that might AFK, then I'm going to say it again. And people get annoyed all the time. Ranked isn't for you. AFKing is not a place for ranked. If you want to AFK, take the game less seriously. Normals, go play them. But even you shouldn't AFK in normals either. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today's episode. Throw a like on it if you liked it. We are starting to now to get some victories. So there's two in a row. I'm going to have a small break, probably a five, ten minute break, and then record the next one. Uh, but yeah, if you liked it, throw a like on it, subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.